Well, if you need help pushing through your workout, experts say swearing might help. Okay, maybe. Seth, sticking around today to join us for the buzz. Oh, oh my goodness. Did your moms ever tell you, if you say that again, I'm going to wash your mouth out with soap? <laughs> or is that generational? Dia, I've never had my mouth washed out. I yeah, believe okay, that now you're just telling a tale. Mm. This is according to researchers, though, at Keele University in England. They say cursing actually improves your athletic performance and endurance. Studies show people on bikes who swear while pedaling against resistance had more power and strength than those who use neutral words. Oh, that's what they're called? Well, swearing also helps the body combat pain, they say. They say cuss words trigger an emotional response that can work to your benefit if you need the extra motivation. I think they're like punctuation. That's what me and a cousin, oh, uh -huh. we call them. shoot. Sugar. Definitely, yeah, no, I, here's my thing. Okay. I'm already mad at the people that grunt mm. in the gym. If they start cussing, okay. that's gonna be wait, really wait, annoying. Wait, 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 wait. Cursing in the gym. Grunting? Yeah. What do you do on Wednesdays? It's on and every day? That's a, that's a completely <gasps> different thing. And it's, a, no, it's more of a, huh, they, but, okay. I see, I see your point. I don't know okay. what you're talking about. Okay. But if you're in the gym, I'll tell you about it. work out quietly. But that's Shh. not yeah. sexy. Isn't that what everybody who's in there I doing? I don't think they so. They want to be noticed because they're looking good. But I don't something. think grunting. I don't mm. know. Definitely not cursing. I that's will, an interesting I will tell study. You I'm glad that there's universities it's, spending money on this. That's good to know. Over right? in jolly old England. Yeah, at least it's not yeah. here in the U.S. So. And notice it's anyway. jolly. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Well, uh, it's almost Halloween, and it's time for the scary Halloween movies, if you haven't watched one yet. And Kentuckians are most likely to push play for Michael Myers. A review of which movies are most popular in each state shows that the 1978 classic Halloween took the top spot in Kentucky. There are a few states in which favorite movies were made in their own backyard. Texas chose the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And Colorado... The Shining. Mm -hmm. Author Stephen King stayed at the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, which served as the inspiration for the Overlook Hotel in the novel and was the filming location for that movie. Mm. I don't like those movies at all, period. I don't, I've never seen any of those. Really? Not not one of them, but I'm not really, really I'm not really into scary movies. I, I mean, no, I'm, I'm I, not. Yeah. It, I'm more the psychological thriller type, like like uh, Saw and uh, Hostel, yeah, the ones are, that like, the, the ones that could happen. The Shamlin mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, yeah, something like that. The Hills Have Eyes, mm -hmm. all those are like, you know, Solid. yeah, those are interesting. But all the like horror ones that really mm -hmm. don't make any sense, no, I'm not really into that. Like the, the dolls turning their heads and stuff, I'm like, <laughs> It's not weird. Yeah. And it's not even Halloween we're talking about this, and already people are looking ahead to the holidays, at least when it comes to shopping. A new report from the National Retail Federation found 40% of consumers like to start their holiday shopping before the end of October. That's not even the most shocking part. Some early bird shoppers started in September. Really? Experts say people like to spread out their shopping to help ease the burden on their wallets. The NRF also found shoppers are also spending more money on gifts. Holiday sales for 2019 are expected to increase by 4% totally more than $700 billion. And remember, Christmas in July. Yeah. Says, no. I know. No. That does it for the buzz today. We'll be right back.